Good morning, you're the examiners. I'm Ong Wan Ching, and today I'll be presenting my presentation entitled Comparing Different Interpolation Methods for Super Topography Using Echo Sounder at Laubar Marine Park, Malaysia. Bathymetry studies are essential to find missing vessels, study natural disasters, and for offshore resources. As the year advances, so the technology to detect bathymetry. Spatial interpolation is the process of using points with known values to estimate unknown values, and they are widely used in many fields. The objective of the study is to generate a digital elevation model from different spatial interpolation methods, which are IDW and cringing, using a QGIS software and to determine the accuracy of surface data generated from different spatial interpolation methods using crossover and correlation analysis. My study area is a Laba Marine Park consisting of three islands, Pula Kuraman, Pula Rusukan Kecil, and Pula Rusukan Besar. In figure 1 is the area of Mark Yellow is my area analysis. The data I'll be using is acquired and processed by the Department of Fisheries in 2019. The marine park is mapped through the use of single beam echo sounder with each survey line spaced at best possible of 25 meters, projected onto SV ArcMap 10.4.3 and then processed through QGIS handover 3.16 with resolution 10 meters. In the data processing, crossover analysis is conducted before the DEM to ensure the reliability of the data and if the error is significant through the formula you see here. The next step is to develop DEM of Laubuan Marine Park. QGIS software will be used to develop the sea floor elevation model for IDW and ordinary cringing. After that, correlation analysis will be conducted to check the error and accuracy of the results through using Microsoft Excel. The formulas here will be used to undergo the correlation analysis. Two intersection C4 elevation points with partial elevation less than 50 meters were defined by the root mean square error to determine the reliability of the data. Basing on each transect seen in Figure 2, 493 intersection points were collected by the crossover analysis. The RMS error found was 0.62 meters, an average of full data is 6.96 meters, with the highest elevation at 28.46 meters. Visually, both methods produced a similar yield of results, but in closer inspection, there were more shallower ranges in the OK interpolated maps surrounding Pula Kuraman, Pula Rusukan Kechi, and Pula Rusukan Besar. While in the deeper region, in between Pula Kuraman Kechi and Pula Rusukan Besar, there were a slight difference of higher depth in the 21 meter range, while in IDW, the same region is in the 18 meter range. In the close up view, IDW looks spotty, while OK has the smooth surface. And there is a larger water region around shallow water region around the Pula Rusukan Kechi and Pula Rusukan Besar, the deeper depth of approximately in the 28 meter depth range between Pula Rusukan Besar and Pula Rusukan Kechi is seen more clearly in the interpolated map of OK than IDW. To generalize the findings, there were more depth range between 0 to 3 meter of the shallow water region and similar depth differences of approximately 0 to 3 meter differences in deep water region. OK's results could be due to the smoothing effect to the existence of spatial structure and sample density, while for RDW, it is an exact interpolator. It is susceptible to any abrupt changes in depth that can be easily misinterpreted by this interpolator. The characteristic of being an exact interpolator is also what caused these spotty appearances as you see here in figure 5. However, appearing smoother with different depth values does not determine if the interpolator technique produces good or bad performance. It is just a characteristic of a particular interpolation surface. Variogram models could significantly improve OK's performance, however, it is sensitive to any misspecification of the variogram, meaning that the type of model chosen can determine how cringing estimates an unknown point. The variogram incorporated for this study was linear semi-variogram. Semi More research is needed to compare which model of variogram is best for bathymetry mapping. For quantitative assessment, both IDW and OKS value they are incredibly close to 1, therefore show that there is strong positive correlation towards validation data, while the relative error for IDW and OK are 2.8 and 3.8% respectively. Both analyses show that both interpolation methods perform highly similarly to each other. IDW performs slightly better than OK in both the relative error analysis and the correlation analysis. This could be due to the particularities of the sampling track or the variogram model selected for the fitting might not be the most appropriate. In conclusion, the density of the spatial intervals between data points determines the accuracy of the spatial interpolation product. Qualitatively, both yielded similar results with very slight differences in depth such as between 0 to 3 meters. Quantitatively, 
Both methods produce very similarly, which may support more local and regional scale mapping. More research is needed to compare which model of variogram is best for party metric mapping in OK and to decrease the relative error and raise the correlation. These are my references and that is it from me. Thank you.